हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम अगेन हेयर विद यट अगेन अ न्यू वीडियो एंड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो रिलेटेड टू लाइफ साइंस माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड बायोटेक्नोलॉजी व्हिच इज लैब डायग्नोसिस ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक्ट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स जस्ट डाइव इन टू द वीडियो व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी रियली हेल्पफुल सो लैब डायग्नोसिस the first and the most important parts of lab diagnosis is includes steps so starting with the specimen collection which is also called as sample collection and transport so the sputum is collected and food should not be ingested in 1 to 2 hours these are some of the guidelines that has to be keep in mind mouth should be rinsed with saline or water just before expectoration the patient should be standing in possible or sitting upright in bed he she should take deep breath in full lungs and empty then in one breath and coughing as hard as deeply as possible to collect the sputum now the sputum is collected um should not be less than 2 ml and only one sputum will be tested as 24 hours because not more than that because the sample really get deteriorated now transportation of sample in within 22 hours and with refrigerator it should be taken care immediately testing is really really good otherwise the results might be difficult handle all the samples are universal precautions because these respiratory tract infection may be if a sample of corona may be asthmatic person or any other kind of a sample maybe the person might be having lung cancer so we have to be very very precautious while doing the test second is induced assistance of respiratory therapy technician should take care of things the postural drainage thoracic percussion and stimulate production of acceptable sputum now aerosol induced specimens are also used meaning while breathing of aerosolized droplets of solution and that contain 15% at nacl and 10% glycerin for approximately 10 ml or until a strong cough is reflex so this is in the case of aerosol induced sample no pre screening is required although these samples appear very watery res- resembling saliva but uh, they contain material directly from alveolar now the specimen collection and transport gastric aspirate for isolation of acid acid fast bacilli inability of produce sputum is also there and nasogastric tube is inserted into the stomach that is a part of gastric aspirate and contest we are withdrawn means the samples are taken and relative resistance of mycobacteria to acidity allow them to remain viable for the short duration and that helps in the acidity of content in neutralized man now uh, bronchoscopy is one of the method that is used and which includes fibrotic devices bronchial washing bronchial aspirates bronchiola bronchiolar lavage bal that is to be 100 to 300 ml ns infused and protective bronchial brushing samples now bronchiolar lavage can be um 100 to 300 ns infused specimen processing may be done with diotheo triotel mixed rapiding with votex mixer and that is really really suggested to do so that the samples could be in the way it should be for 15 seconds and stand for 15 minutes for ambient temperature then it has to be gently and continuously machined to and fro motion are there means a motion a continuous way of doing is there for 30 minutes at 37 degrees celsius now pancreatin it should be for 30 minutes at 37 degrees celsius with continuous and occasions shaking now when you see the identification after all the sampling collection and transportation you see gram stained 10% koh calco fluor white stain pas stain is there and there you see a gram positive diplococci surrounded by capsule 
and polynucleophlorochloric leukocyte this shows the presence of infection inside your lungs now when a diagnosis is done how is the colony procedure works here so the method is large and mucoid colonies single colonies are there from blood and chocolate agar plates it is prepared also circling the colony and petri dish to locate the place of one drop of 2% sodium dioxy chocolate and incubated 37 degrees celsius for 30 minutes inverted the plane they lid left slightly ager to evade evaporation when the reagent has dried examine the area of lies and disintegration of origin colony also here you see the positive result is colony lies disintegrated and when there is negative then no change very easy very brief and very cut to the mark procedure is there how to isolate how to collect samples transport collection everything is there and from there to microscopy how it looks and what are the colonies you see what are the color what is the gram positive and gram negative what are the culture like as we have seen that the cultures that i use are chocolate and blood agar so this is the very basic and important steps of respiratory tract infection i hope you all like it i hope you find them very informative helpful and they help you in your studies and thank you so much for watching till the end of this video very very short very very easy and i hope it is making any sense while you are studying and it contribute to your notes as well whatever i have included in the video and the charts and all these slides thank you so much for watching like the video and please comment down the video whatever you like in the video like if you are feeling that i should add something or delete something the way i'm talking the way i'm explaining you are liking it not liking it please show me your comment and help me find that if you find it informative or not on and please share with your friends and whosoever need this video and please subscribe to the channel i i'll make these kind of videos and try to make more 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 of these contents so that it can help you thank you so much